everyone! I am situated a little farther away than usual. I guess I can get closer for the intro. Hey guys! So today I'm doing a really exciting video. It's one that I did a long time ago and I wanted to do again because my bookshelves are so different now and that is the bookshelf scavenger hunt. This is a video where you basically have a list of books that you need to find off of your bookshelf as quickly as possible and show them off to you. So I kind of zoomed out of my angle of it so you can kind of see more thoroughly this bookshelf, but again I also have a bookshelf over yonder so I'll be pulling books from there as well. But anyway, without further ado, let's just begin the hunt. So the first thing to find is find a book with the author's name or the title of the book having the letter Z in it. So this one is a little easy for me just because this is like my favorite author or one of my all-time favorite authors and I went with The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Again, one of my favorite authors of all time. I have two, I have like all of his books in multiple editions. So that was like a nice start. A bit of a cakewalk, if you will. Next question is find a classic. Quite a few choices. I'm gonna go with this one. I went with Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen and my favorite vintage classic edition because they are just so dang cute. Next up is find a book with a key on it. Oh dang it, things get trickier. I really have no idea with this, so just give me a second here. Uh, no. No. Uh, shoot. Uh, no. Well crap, time to go to the other side of the room. Holy crap, that took me like 15 minutes, I'm not gonna lie. But I finally found something with a key on it. It is probably, I think the only book, I looked through all of my books, and this is like the smallest key, but here we go. All right. Here's the book. Here is the penguin guy unlocking a door with the smallest key ever, but is in fact a key. This is also the book thief. It is the other edition of the book thief I have. Only book with a key and it has nothing to do with the book thief, it has everything to do with the publishing emblem, but what? I'm desperate. If they could have asked me a book with a sword on it, I would have had 45 options for them. Next up is find something on your shelf that is not a book. I have quite a few options for this, but I decided to go with my favorite little doohickeys or like knickknacks, and they are these really cool Harry Potter potions. I have a flu powder and a apology potion, and I also have another one back there, but these two are my favorite. I got these a few years ago for my boyfriend. He got them on Etsy, I wanna say. I think they're fun. They live on my bookshelf, and I'm happy about it. Next up is find your oldest book. For this, I went with The Demon King by Sinoleum Strima. This is a book I've had since freshman year of high school, so going on eight years. It's tattered, man. It is worn, it has been borrowed, it has been read a lot of times. Uh, again, most of my books are in storage, so this is the oldest book I have. I do have older books than this, but they're just not with me now. They're at my mom's house. Next up is find a book with a girl on the cover. LOL. Which one do you want? This one? This one? This one? This one? Or this one? Found a few. Next up is find a book that has an animal in it. For this, I'm going with The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness, one of my all-time favorite series that I really should reread soon. But this has a dog companion, and he's great. He's lovable. He's the dog that you want. I wish my little Matilda was a little more like the dog in this book. He listens very well. And he's so cute, you can hear his thoughts, and it's just amazing. I love him. Next up is find a book with a male protagonist. Back, and I picked The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. The main character of this is a man named Kvothe, and we follow him throughout his entire life. He's not just any male protagonist, he's basically the male protagonist, because he's my favorite, and we get a picture of his entire life, and he's just so smart and capable, and I love this story so much, so... Kvothe. Next up is a little tricky, and it's find a book with only words on it. No pictures, nothing else, just a cover with words, so... Alright. I'm going with a book that I haven't even hauled yet and it's still in its, like, packaging, and I'm going with Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. It's pretty much only words. It's this bright, beautiful fluorescent fire engine red with the big old B on it. So, uh, I would say there's really not much going on besides that wonderful text of a B. So... Good job, Jane Eyre. Next up is find a book with illustrations in it. Lucky for me, I read a lot of Middle Gray, but I decided to go with The Search for Wanda by Tony Dottila Ritzi. This is the first book to the Wanda trilogy, a trilogy that I've spoken a lot of on my channel. I really love it. But the illustrations in this book are just so beautiful and fun and just so amazing and there's so many of them. They basically, there's a full page for every chapter and there's full pages throughout the story as well. 
just so many beautiful pictures. Next up is find a book with gold lettering. For this, I went with A Book of Spirit and Thieves by Morgan Rhodes. As you can see, it has beautiful, super shiny gold lettering. Very beautiful fantasy cover. Very aesthetically pleasing. Gold lettering is one of my easiest impulse buy triggers. If a cover has really beautiful gold lettering, or rose gold lettering, even better, I'll probably buy it. Next up, I don't know if I have. I'm gonna be completely honest with you, and it's Find a Diary, Real or Fictional. Let's begin. So I decided to go with A Tale for the Time Being by Ruth Ozeki. I picked this because one of the main characters finds a diary washed up on the beach, and it switches between her perspective and the woman who wrote that diary. So diary is like a big part of this plot. Um, so it kind of has a fictional diary element. This is the closest I get because I don't have, apparently I don't have any books with diaries, but this has a diary, so it counts. Next up is find a book written by someone with a common name like Smith. I decided to go with And I Darken by Kristen White. I feel like I know quite a few whites in my life. You know, seems pretty common. I don't mean that as an insult, but I think this works. Next up is find a book that has a close-up of something on it. Haha, -ha, I have an entire four book series that qualifies for this. Starting with the first book in the series though, I'm gonna go with Cinder, but really any of the books in this entire quartet would count. But this book has a close-up of a robotic foot. You know? Very nice. Oh, I'm doing a little like half face action. But yeah, this is a great series. Has lots of great close-ups of objects and also a lot of great characters. It's a lot of fun. You know, fairy tale retellings? I'm sure you've heard of this. Anyway. Next up is find a book on your shelf that takes place in the earliest time period. Does fantastical time periods count? If not, okay. Alright, not taking historical fantasy into consideration, I actually picked a non-fiction book and went with the Romanovs, because this starts when, you know, the Romanovs take power, which is in 1613 all the way up into 1918, but 1613 is a portion of this book, which is the earliest time period. The next oldest book I have takes place in 1686 and is The Miniaturist, which is a very good book set in the Dutch Republic, but this is the book that has the oldest time period and also happens to be nonfiction. So there you go. Starting with um, Michael the First. Next up is find a hardcover book without its jacket, and I don't think this exists. So, uh, the only book that qualifies as this is the book I'm currently reading because I don't read books with their dust jackets on, and that is going to be The Blood Mirror by Brett Weeks. I am just over halfway through, and boy oh boy is it really good, but this doesn't have its dust jacket on, and it's a hardcover, but that's the only one I have. I don't own the other ones are all covered snugly and put on the shelf, so. Next up is find a teal or turquoise colored book. I decided to go with The Nest by Cynthia Diapri Sweeney just because I think this cover is probably one of the prettiest teal turquoise colored book. I guess this might be more of a robin's egg blue if you're familiar with the Crayola 50 pack. But uh, I really love this color. I love the gold, rose gold with the blue. I think it's just so, 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 so pretty. Next up is find a book with stars on it. Haha! -ha, I had a feeling this would have stars and I was right. And it is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. And if you look closely, this is a scene of the night sky and there's a beautiful smattering of stars on it. This is one of my favorite books, actually. It's such an amazing book. It's about a kind of post-apocalyptic society and there's basically you're following a traveling Shakespeare theater troupe. It's amazing if you haven't read it. Read it, seriously, so good. But that's besides the point. This has stars on it, so points for me. And lastly, find a non-YA book. I have a lot of these because I read a lot of non-YA, so I'm just gonna pick one that I feel like you guys should really read. And for that, I'm going with The First 15 Lives of Harry August. This is the book I haven't talked about in a minute, and it's one of my favorite books of all time. This is an amazing story following a man who lives his life, dies, and then lives his life over again with all the knowledge of his previous lives. And it's a thriller and a mystery because one of his lives, he's told that the world is ending and it's up to him to solve it. It's crazy good, okay? Like, so, 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 so clever, so good, so much drama. I love this book. And it's an adult book, so really, I, if you were scared of adult book, read this. You'll like it anyway, I promise. Alrighty guys, that is the bookshelf scavenger hunt. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun filming it and scouring my bookshelves. Dang, the book with the key. Why don't I have books with keys on it? Apparently I need to rectify that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, yeah, and I will see you soon with another video soon. Goodbye!